Okay, hi. We will learn for this video a 10 item numerical reasoning practice set A. Number one, we will have to account for the discount, for the final discount of a 12,000 cell phone discounted first at 20%, then an additional 10% after the 20% discount. So we will have to look for the discounted price at 20%, so that will be 12 times 0 0.8 or 9.6. We're dropping off the three zeros, so we're computing with the knowledge that we will have to attach the three zeros or the thousands place for the final value. So at 9.6, 20% discounted price, we will have to impose the 10% discount, the BDO discount. So we will have to have 9.6 times 0 0.9, which will be the 90% price, accounting for the 10% discount. And that would give us an 8.64 final discounted price or that will be 8,640. So the total discount would have to be 12,000 minus 8,640 8, or a final discount of 3,360. For number two, this will be a set of knives with a VAT at 12% equal to 112.50 pesos. So to find the cost of the set of knives, we will have to have the equation that 112.50 is equivalent to 12% or 0.2 of x. And when we move 0.12 to the left hand side of the equation, the final value of the set of knives will be 112.50 divided by 0 0.12, and that would be 937.5. For item 3, so the price of diesel increased from 45.75 to 79.85 because we're accounting for the percent price increase, we will have to be aware that the base reference for this computation will be the original price highlighted in red, which is 45.75. So the price increase in terms of the value will be 79.85 minus 45.75, and that would be 34.1. And then we divide this by the original price of 45.75. So we get a final price increase percentage of 74.54%. For number four, a loan of 15,000 will have to be given compounded interests at 12% compounded semi-annually. So the interest is imposed every six months. So for the loan value after 1.5 years, that means we will impose 6% compounded interest three times. So just picking up 15, but conscious that the final value will have to attach the three zeros or the thousands value. So 15 times 1.06 times 1.06 times 1.06 will give us a value of 17.8624 or the final value in thousands of 17,862.40. From the given options, there is not this value, so our choice will be none of these. For number five, we have Gabrielle purchasing a used car at 150 and then selling it at 15% profit and a salesman 
will have to add on an 8% to Gabriel's price of 150,000 times 15% profit. So our computation will be 150, picking up just the 150 of the 150,000 times 1.15, which will be the final price for Gabriel before he passes it on to the salesman. So the salesman now imposes a, an 8% profit and that would be 172.5 times 1.05 or 186.3 and then putting on the three zeros will give us 186,300 and from the givens there is not this option but we understand that we can round this off to 190,000 and therefore our answer will be letter C. For number six, the sum of even numbers from 11 to 50, we need to account for how many terms there are in this set of numbers. So 50 from 11 to 50, there will be 50 minus 11 plus 1 terms or 40 terms. And because we're only picking up the even numbers from the 40, there will only be 20 even numbers. 20 terms will be equal to 10 pairs of even numbers with sums of 12 plus 50 or 62. And that will mean that the final answer will be that. Okay, for number 7, the sum of numbers from 13 to 28, so we will have to account for all the digits, I mean, all the integers from 13 to 28 and we understand that there are 28 minus 13 plus 1 which will be equal to 16 terms. 16 terms will equal to 8 pairs with sums of 41. We pick up 41 by pairing 13 with 28, 14 with 27 and so on and so our final answer will be 8 times 41 or 320. For number 8, the sum of odd numbers from 9 to 61 would mean that we will have to account for uh, 13 pairs with sums of 70 plus a middle value. And the middle value will be 9 plus 26, which will be equal to 35. And our answer will be equal to 13 pairs times 70, and that will be 910 plus the middle term, which is 35, or that is equal to 945. For number 9, the sum of numbers from 50 to 100 will account for 51 terms, and therefore that will be 25 pairs with sums of 150 with a middle term equal to 75, so 150 times 25 times plus 75, sorry, that would give us a value of 3,825. And for our final item, we will have to move the values, so we end up with x minus 10 less than a y, and then because we need to isolate a, y becomes a divisor for x minus 10 and so our final answer for the expression of a will be that x minus 10 quantity divided by y is less than 8 so our answer is none of this thank you very much for your attention please um, comment subscribe or hit the notification bell thank you very much